Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is part 2 of Tableau interview series. If you have not watched the part 1, please go back and watch as it is quite helpful for the interview. The link of the part 1 is in the description box. So let's get started. So the first question is what is filter and what is the order operation of filter? So filter is a process of accessing certain values or a range of values from result dataset. So let's take an example. Uh, suppose we have a data of 100 people and we want to see only the data of the 5 people so for this type of purpose we use filter okay so the order of operation of filter is in a sequence in which the filter is applied so the first filter we applied on data is extract filter then data source filter then context filter then dimension filters then major filter then table temperature filter okay so the next question is what is context filter so whenever we use the context filter tableau automatically create a temporary data set out of primary data set and all the other filter works based on the context filter it is represented by gray color so the main advantage of the context filter is it improves the performance uh, of the dashboard when we are working with the huge data set so let's take an example of the context filter uh, suppose uh, we are working with category and the subcategory sales data and we want to find out the top five subcategory from each category for this type of purpose we use context filter okay so as we can see here when we right click on the category uh, there is an option add to context filter when we click on it it becomes like this and it is represented by gray color okay let's move to the next question so the third question is what is granularity and aggregation so granularity means viewing the data in a de detailed manner and aggregation is used to provide the summary statics so granularity and aggregation are opposite to each other so lower the granularity higher the aggregation and uh, higher the granularity lower the aggregation okay so let's move to the next question so the next question is what is the difference between tree map and the heat map so tree map is ideal for displaying large amount of data uh, large, or you can say large amount of hierarchy structure data okay uh, so uh, we view the tree map from the top left to the bottom right as you can see uh, top left represent the highest value and the bottom bottom right represent the lowest value okay so so uh, heat map is used to compare the data with the help of the size and, and the color heat map uses a different type of color and the size to represent the data we can compare up to two major with the help of the heat map okay let's move to the next question so the next question is what is the difference between live and extract connection in extract connection we extract subset of the data from the data sources and in the live connection we directly made a connection with the data source okay so uh, as we are working uh, on a subset of the data so it speed up the performance and we can use the data offline but in the live as uh, we directly made a connection with the data sources so it is slower as compared to extract and we cannot use the data offline okay uh, in the extract uh, we need to refresh the data manually uh, to get the latest update uh, but uh, in the live uh, whenever we open the workbook the latest data will be displayed okay let's move to the next question so the next question is what is blended axis so blended axis is used, used to show the multiple fields or majors in a single axis or we can say that it is used when there is a need to show the more than one major on the same axis uh, let me show you one example like i have taken uh, this example and uh, here we are uh, showing sales profit and discount by order date as we can see here discount profit and sales in a same axis okay let's move to the next question so the next question is what is dual axis dual axis is used to combine the two views in a single view suppose you have a data of profit and the sales and uh, you want to see them uh, both in a single view so for this type of purpose we use dual axis uh, to use a dual axis right click on the sales and choose the dual axis okay and don't forget to synchronize the axis otherwise you will not get the accurate data uh, to synchronize the axis right click on the axis and choose the synchronize axis okay that's all guys thank you so much if you like the video please do like comment and subscribe and please share it with your friends 
and stay tuned for more interesting videos thank you